Hey guys, I'm gonna do a little vlog. You guys seem to like the vlogs the other day. So, um, I'm a little bit tired. I know I would say that. I'm not really that tired, but I just don't feel like working that hard. One of my employees didn't show, one of my helper guys, so I don't feel like pricing a bunch of boxes. But I got these boxes in the hallway we're gonna take a look at right now. And they've been there since like a, over a year, and they're from the hoarder house. I don't know if they came from the storage unit or the house. I actually think they came from the storage unit. There's full of old comics, there's full of old toys. I've never really looked through these except the top really quick. And that's stuff that I put in there where I thought, hey, we probably can price it in the store really quick. So uh, I'm gonna unbox some of that stuff, go through it, then price it in the store. So you guys can join me, vlog with me, see what we find. It'll be some fun unboxing. Hopefully we find like, remember the last week I did a video from the same boxes came Secret Wars 8 that was just right on top. So we're gonna do that right now. So here, this is the room. It's a little yellow in here, so hopefully I'm gonna try to see if I can straighten it out. Post video, thing. we had to clean this. This was all full of boxes. Um, Fire Marshal said we had too much stuff in here. It was messy. He put a note on the thing, it was messy. So I got it down to just a few t-shirts, some toys we have to put out. And then um, <clears throat> I took a bunch of it to storage, but this is some of the stuff that's left from the whole house. More comic boxes. I never even went through these, but I think these are from the store, so I don't think they're gonna be that great. But we'll take a look, and then so where you see we're back there, one of those boxes. That's where Secret Wars was right on top. So we're gonna look through the rest of this, and we'll just go hunting. You guys go hunting with me. Let us. Let me set up a tripod, and then uh, we'll figure it out. When I got my case on the Mondays, and I don't feel like working hard, this is what I do. Um, we're gonna look at this box over here first. Let me get it for you. These are just some action figures we saw. I never pulled these out. Batman, Superman. These looks like some trading cards. Blue Beetle, 2000 AD. Hopefully you guys see these good frame. That's nice. Bat Cycle, Polar Lights. Should be the new one, yeah, it has a website on it. But still, I get 29 bucks for these. And then I check them sometimes, they're worth more on eBay. Crime Syndicate. Star Sci-Fi. Brainiac 13 and Supergirl. It's not too bad. This is newer stuff, though. stuff will get a lot older. Green Arrow, Speedy. Just wanted to do that box really quick. Now, Let's see, I think this should be comic books. And see, oh no, some cards on top here. I don't think it's comic books. Anymore. So see, he just has boxes. Like I have like hundreds of boxes this size. So 1990 Bowman, but it's usually not in there. So he has Kiss in here. Old Kiss card. Old Dallas cards. And then, let me see, these look like old football cards. Jerry Mace, it doesn't say the year on but so I think Bowman did a set of baseball cards where they kind of had that TV screen, and those were Bobby Hunt, John Morris, Larry Guerin, George Sauer, Tom Day, and on baseball I think they were like in the 50s, like early 50s, so I don't know if these are that or not. Looks like there's some more in here. Dallas cards. Morty's football cards, a whole nother stack. Then I see Empire Strikes Back. Whole stack of Star Wars stuff. Star Wars stickers, Dallas, Kiss. That's a cool little box. Like, I'll have to go through this some more, but, you know, I only have so much time. And I know people will say right away, oh, you gotta handle that, I'm much more careful, but that's not really, it's been sitting like this in storage units for, you know, 20 some years. Superman box, but it's full of baseball cards this time. Let's see what year these are, these are 1980, so not that exciting. The Yankees, Ron Davis. These are all 1980s baseball cards. We'll go through these later. 
I literally have over 10,000 baseball cards, most of them from the 60s. So he has a lot of stuff that he just got. I mean, I have 80,000 comics like that, where he just got them straight from the factory. And he has stacked the same one. These are Donald Ducks. So all Donald Ducks. Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom. Then he'll have them in a bag like this. And so there's like seven copies in here. Incredible Hulk, 256. Weird War. Weird War, Blood. New Mutants, 31. Two Matracula, 32. A few copies of that. Dreadstar, Conan the King. I love going through boxes, never know. Seduction of the Innocent, but look at the condition. Man, it would be nice if you just had a stuck stack of Hulk 181 in here. Well, that could be possible. Star Trek, Blood, Infinity Incorporated, number 46. It looks like a stack of Voltron, number one. My friend George would like these. Conan, Seduction of the Innocent. So this stuff is not from the house, this stuff is from the storage unit. That stuff I think he had in the store at the end. Demon number three, and there's looks like five copies in here. Demon number two, looks like five copies in here. Legion of Superheroes, bunch of copies. Unexpected. It's actually a cool cover. Another Unexpected. Right, let me say the words Hulk 181. I mean it. Conan, movie special number one. New Gods number 10. Seduction. Superman and Batman. By the way, if you guys notice one that's a lot better, let me know. The Warlord. And that's it. We put the stuff really back in. I know we got at least one more comic box like this. And after that, then I really don't know what we got. I got some big boxes. So, and I guess I could go through these front comic boxes, but I'm gonna try to keep the video like 15, 20 minutes. We'll just have a little fun. Okay, let's open this box. I saw some stuff sticking out. Oh, check it out. The big book of dinosaurs. As a baby, Tatiana would have loved this when she was a little kid. Ah, this box. Some card stuff in here. Then we'll do another comic box. So these are all Spider Man Christmas hat little pins. I probably put these in my store for a dollar or two dollars. PJ Tour 1991. These are cards. Some sort of comic cards. Light of the Doomed and Mars Attacks, new Mars Attacks cards. I do have the old ones too. Wonder Woman little comic book. Oh, it's actually all the covers from Wonder Woman. That's cool. I'll take that home. I'll read that. Bunch of these 86 update sets, so traded series. Let's see. Star Wars pictures, postcards. Oh, this looks interesting. Some old Superman postcards. And then early John Wayne photographs. Marilyn Monroe, no it's not. Lana Feria. These are cool, we'll put these out at $1.99. But see, it adds up fast. I mean, that's like 40, that's 80 bucks. So when you, when you start adding the stuff up in the boxes, you know, when we say, hey, these are the prices, like, this stuff adds up fast, and this dollar stuff sells quick. Superman cards. Here's a bunch, oh, you know what, there's a whole bunch, this is cool. Here's a whole bunch of these postcards, Superman cards. Those will sell well. Some kind of Dragon Slayer cards. Marvel Masterpiece, 1993. You know, I've never seen what's in the bottom of this box. It looks like this is like long boxes for baseball cards, for trading cards. 
This is more the streeting stuff. Uh, these are rock cards. Star Trek. Undiscovered country, some kind of button. You know, cards don't excite me that much unless they're from like the um, 60s or 50s. Star Trek Next Generation trading cards. Alright, here's a box of. That's business cards, but that's not what this is really. That's all the way in the bottom, so I'm not gonna squeeze it out. But this looks like all like comic cards. Valiant parts. Okay. Is that exciting? Let's see what's in here. It just says TS. Okay, Magic the Gathering Alpha. Nope. But we got some hard shell cases. We have some packs. Comic ball cards. Upper deck. And then here's Mars Attacks tops. Let's see what we have here. Oh, these are like the pinup cards. And Vargas Gatefold cards. Looks like more just a little bit of sports cards, fantasy cards. And let's see what's in the hard shell cases. Jurassic Park holographic cards. This is Boris number four. Union. I mean, this stuff is probably nothing major. Like, a lot of this stuff came and then it kind of went down again. Coming soon, send collective trading card series, Chromium Technology. This is a promo card. Let me look through these really quick. Hopefully, let's see if you guys can see them too. I'm the only person, so I'm just vlogging. It's kind of hard. So I have to research these online. And like, guys, when I say prices, that doesn't mean that's the price for sure, but that's what I'm guessing. So I'm thinking these gotta be a couple bucks a card. Collectors will buy them. But I will look them up, who knows? There might be a hundred dollar card in there, I don't know. I, I really won't know until I actually research it. Let me see, there's a bunch of buttons in here. Let's see a little bit of old stuff. But like I said, this is stuff in the store, so it's not as exciting as the stuff that's in the storage units. But this is set of nine. Oh, these are cool. Dark Shadows, Star Trek, Twilight Zone, Ripples, believe it or not. Star Trek Tour, Dr. Specker, Dagger, Crim Story. I think these are like the mini comics. Let's be really careful with these. Dark Shadows, Dan Curtis production. They're mini copies. Number one, 1974. Well, actually a lot newer than I thought they would be. But what are these worth? I mean, I don't know, look them up. WS, mini comics by Dan Curtis. So, gotta be at least five bucks a piece, I'm guessing. So what's in there, 10 is 50 bucks. And who knows, there might be 30 bucks a piece, I don't know. Right now you're in front of a computer, so you probably know faster than me. But I will put these aside. Uh, some of these cards here. I'm gonna clean this up later. Let's look at another box. Like I said, I tried this video not too long because some people complain that the videos are too long, so you guys get to see some of the stuff, but not everything. Let's see, this is all. Should we look at comics or old stuff? Let's look at comics first. We'll do some more boxes. So I'll go through these fast. Mega Man, Conan's, New Mutants, Marvel Triple Action Challenges of the Unknown, Fantastic Four. Looks like people having fun in the store inside. Winnie the Pooh, Weird War, 
Werewolf for Night 14s. I'm just sending a 32 to CGC right now. This is nice. Iron Fist number 12. Three. Six of them. Chippendales, Legion of Superheroes 272, New Gods, number seven. That's a key issue. Well, that's probably, you know, a 10, 20 all book. Walt Disney's Scamp, Goki. Here's a Godzilla stack. Number six, Conan's. Conan's Wonder Woman. So out of here came Secret Wars. Spectacular Spider-Man 149. Not out of this particular box, but a box like it. It was almost empty, it was falling apart. So I wonder if at one point it was full of Secret Wars. I ended up getting, I think, 26 copies. Wonder Woman, Godzilla, King Kong, King Kong. Captain Marvel, number eight. Whole pack of them, looks like six. Sergeant Rock, Wonder Woman 301. Wonder Woman 302. And that's probably 303 back here, 306. And that's it for the box. I'm gonna clean this up afterwards. So this way you guys get to look at more stuff. By the way, let me know if you like these type of videos or not. I mean, there's no rehearsal, there's nothing. There's nothing pre-planned. This is just whatever I find you see. Uh, let's business parts, supplies. That's a nice little, so watches. I have a lot of these. A lot of different ones, I think they're watches. Supplies, little action figure. Oh, that's wild comic in here. Space Family Robinson. Okay. There's nothing exciting to report here. Let's see what's this one here. Ooh, box of comics. And... Okay, so this box right here, I've seen this. And I think it's just a bunch of old gold key stuff. Let's make sure. Challenge of the Unknown, Chapter 1, number 31. This is gold key stuff. Children's Digest, Humpty Dumpties. There's some old, huh? Let's see. Matt. Number 105, 1966. This is cool. Lionel catalog. Retrospect one. Let's see a little bit of comics here. Artwork. This looks like this might have been some of his drawings and stuff. Coloring books. Red Cross books. Yeah, this box doesn't look that exciting. To be honest, a lot of this will probably go in the trash. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with this one. There's a box with some old toys. I say, oh, of course, there's new things on top. Human brain. Fireman training course for the Navy. Space tank. The Radio Shack. That's Radio Shack, but still it's kind of cool. There's um, Guide to Paper Ricana. Moving stuff. These looks like mini figurines, Hawaii. Copper can. It's funny how these box mixtures are. 
Yeah, there's a little bit of action figures in here. This is kind of cool. Playmobil, 1986. Cool. So I see some Jokers, some Batmans, another. This should be a Joe, right? Sarah Lock, manual release, lens retract. Yeah, G.I. Joe. That's cool. There's a few more loose toys here. Oh, that box down there is cool. It's all the hardcover. Let's see what's in here. I don't know if I can get to it if I have enough time. Some old books. Avengers. Daredevil. The comic book. Sack of Companion, Luz Lamar, Comic Supplies, Tenchi Muju number two, bring home that. This looks like store supplies boxes. Let's see, we got three boxes to go. If I get to that box at the bottom, that's kind of cool to see. You know what? I'll price it for the store too. Okay, it looks like we got some comics in here. Virgin Mama 2, okay. Got some signatures on these. DV8, Alice Raman Regler, or Regler. And if I had to guess, they're signed by Regler number one. Let's see what we got in here. The border one. That's signed. Signed. It's all signed. This one is signed to Goddess. China Exposed. Signed by China. Gen 13, number one. Signed. Double Impact. Not signed. I think these are all at all comics, to be honest. High Impact. Blood Hunter. She number nine. And here is the Witch Plate Collected Editions. Brand new sealed. Hmm. Interesting. So you never know what you find. But a bunch of signed comic books. Oops, I don't want to squeeze them in. I wanna I'm gonna leave these separate. We'll put these in a different box. All right. Two more boxes. Let's see what's in here. This is light. Feels like action figures. Hercules. Herculoids, a little action figure sock and sander, kind of cool. Okay, let me get this box. This box is fun. Now, this came from the store, but I literally have in the house, I probably got like 200 from the house. And most of these are sealed. So a lot of these are sealed. All-Star Comics. And it's, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. These will run, you know, probably 30 bucks, 29.99 up to 100, depending what they are. You know, a lot of Superman, Dark Knight, that stuff sells. Here's Frank Miller, Batman, year one. Special thing sealed. So that's 15 of them. Let's just say 30 bucks a piece. That's a 450 dollar box right here. I'm actually gonna price it right now. So when you see the video, by the time this video comes out, these will be in the store. That was exciting. 
plan, we see what we have here. We try to pick some stuff that's actually interesting. Indiana Jones, Fighting Army, Marvel Triple Action number four, Wanted. Okay. Oh, these are our little eight millimeter films. I got rolls and rolls of the big stuff. And I think these are all actually from, some of these have labels on them. So, okay. Let me see. None of these, unfortunately, this box doesn't have labels. This looks like an old dude laying in bed. Huh, I don't know. I'd say somebody at the end. But these are all like, he collected like horror movies and different things. Let's see what this is. A lot of these are like 10, 20 bucks a piece, especially if you can identify them. Uh, This of a woman sitting in the forest. I don't know, I have to do more research on these. It's kind of hard to see, we'll put these up here. All right, let's see what's in this A1 box. So I have hundreds of these boxes and usually they're filled with action figures and toys. Oh, this looks like comics. Let's see what we have here. Grimm's Ghost Stories. Grimm's Ghost Stories. Some Star Wars cards. Philco console radio. Advertisings. Oh, you know, these actually look like printing plates for the ads. It's kind of interesting. Hmm. Because it's not the ad, but it's something that you would print it on to see if these are worth anything. Back full of Safety pins. It's all Philco television. Easy, follow the growth, does a cook. Electromaster. But these are like printing plates, I believe. And it says right here, Philco ad number 49-301A. Huh. Dream cars. The rest of this box is all more ad plates. Some computer printouts. Uh, that's it. Hmm. Interesting. If anybody knows what these are, what they're worth, or if you find an eBay link, I probably won't have time to research these, but if you find an eBay link, so they're like bumpy, so that's what I'm thinking of for like printing. Let me know. Or maybe there's something. No, they're definitely, you know, I thought maybe it's something you stick on a window, so I don't know, it's interesting. Easy terms. It looks like some sort of stamp for printing press. Hmm. Isn't that special? Okay, let's, should we do another one? We'll probably wait past 15 minutes. Let's see what, what I see here. Uh, all right, this is different. So these look like, it says 1965 on it. Nightcrawler superhero patches. Here, this one says, let's see, it says six, uh, this says 84. Marvel superhero patches. Wonder Woman. Hercules. Iron Man. 65. Probably reissued in 84, but still cool. So that, this one says 84. Huh, I have to see, some of these might be old, some might be good. But I mean, at least five bucks a piece, and there's like, what, 20 of them? 
100 bucks. So this box is good. It's already a winner. Football Di Digest Super Bowl issue. Don't see a year. I have to open that. Best Ron Eli Dog Savage. Silver backings. Looks like a lot of paperwork in there. From the Batman movie. Just ribbon icicles. Cartoon celebrities Popeye. A lot of pins in here. I have thousands of pins in here too, by the way. Not just here, but everywhere. There's a stack of these, whatever this is. Amazing World Superman. Superman postcards. Handcuffs. It's different Superman postcards. Some sort of box. Postcards, postcards, martial law, future police. This says Dick Tracy on the side. Dick Tracy collector's edition. And the whole thing's full of pens. Bart Simpson. Dick Tracy pens. I wonder if that's what they were pens. The Walt Disney Company, OSP Publishing, OSP, no year. Come on, Disney. They look newer, but the pens look nice. Yeah, so these, this must be the original box and some other pens in there. Simpson pens in there, Disney pens. Um, I usually sell stuff like this, $2.99. And we had hundreds of pens out and we sold every one of them. People just love that stuff. Let's see if there's anything else I can dig out. This stuff is a little bit not packed too well. So here's some more Superman. Coming June 17, Superman. These are advertising stickers from DC Comics from 1983. Okay, I'm not gonna pull anything out like this anymore because this stuff is just not stacked well. These look old right here. Remember these stickers as a kid? Let's see, there's so any dates on these. Superheroes. ACDC. Different stuff, so. And I think we're gonna leave this box alone. That's another box that looks pretty messy. But you know what? I think this is good. If you guys enjoyed this, if I get 500 likes, I'll do another one fast. We'll see what's in the rest of the stack. Thank you for watching.